Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tour these three beautiful homes built by KB in the north side of Las Vegas. We are located in Tule Springs and today we're going to tour 2469. We're going to tour 2124 and we're going to tour 1203. Uh, this last one is a beautiful single story, very nice home. And uh, we're going to go through them all. We're going to show you upgrades and everything that is included in the house. Uh, the options and all. We're located in Tuli Springs. We got a beautiful uh, mountain view over here on the north side. And then on the south side, we have a park. They're building a few uh, schools out here, an elementary school. They have a few uh, elementary schools plus a few middle schools that you can go to. Uh, great location, uh, all new, uh, right next to the 215 freeway. And uh, I think it's North 5th Road, uh, the intersection, the closest intersection or Revere. Now, as we walk into this 2469 model, this is uh, the most famous, probably the most sold uh, layout built by KB. We have a bedroom downstairs. We have a garage over to the right. The garage is going to be the sales office. That's where um, I'm going to go right now in a second and show you guys. This model right here has the coat closet on this side, which means this is specced out as a den right there. Okay. Uh, Actually, no, this is specked out as a bedroom, as a matter of fact. No, it's a den, yeah, because here we have a powder room. Now, you can upgrade this to have a full bathroom, like a full shower, which what, it, what they do is they make this sink go in a little bit farther in, and then that wall stays there. And then this toilet goes on this side, I think, or somewhere over here. And then over there, we have the walk-in shower, okay? Then they re just reposition this... Uh, this wall right here, they make it a little bit uh, smaller going into uh, having a smaller hallway right here going into your bedroom downstairs. Uh, the bedroom down here, uh, it's a pretty good size, it's like a 10 by 11. In this home, we have nine foot ceilings, that's not included. Now, forgot to mention, guys, here are the uh, prices just so you guys have a little bit of the price range. You can stop here and see them all. $24.69 is going for a starting price of $380,000. And uh, just compare that, for example, to the Southwest or Inspirata, where this same floor plan is starting for about 400, anywhere between $415,000 to $425,000. That's about forty grand, uh, $40,000 to $45,000 difference in price range. Now, and you pretty much have everything, it's pretty much the same here. But this one is a very nice open floor plan. We've got uh, nine foot ceilings, as I mentioned in here. That's about a 6,000, maybe six to $7,000 upgrade to add that um, second, sorry, the higher ceilings here on the first floor. They don't allow you to do nine foot ceilings on the second floor as well. Now, uh, what the included appliances are uh, black appliance, actually no, they upgraded to stainless steel appliances included. Now, it does not come with the microwave, refrigerator, washer, and dryer. It comes with a hood on top right here, like a fan hood. You can upgrade to the microwave and uh, fan if you want to. Uh, as far as the sink in the kitchen, it comes with an overmounted stainless steel sink. You can upgrade to something like this for about 1000 And then right here, we have some cabinets. I'm going to show you all the included features next door because they do have uh, next door all the included features. And I'm going to show you also right now, once I go into the garage over there, show you everything that uh, all the options for the included features. But as far as this house, we have about $45,000 in upgrades on this house. So just keep that in consideration when you're walking through this one. Uh, so this house is pretty much going to be at around $440,000, okay, out the door. After law premiums, law premiums are going for about $15,000 as well. Hope you guys uh, like these kinds of videos with all the breakdown of what's included, what's not included, the prices to upgrade those things, as this could help, you know, at least from the feedback. Uh, what I hear is that a lot of people really liked uh, the fact that I mentioned the prices, um, you know, because they're trying to build their own house and they get that insider's, um, you know, perspective and pricing. Because I think this year I sold about 18 of these KB homes. So if you want to be the next one to buy one KB home with me, feel free to reach out to me. My information is down in the description. I know pretty much everything about these homes. 
Now right here we have this upgraded rail, it comes with a pony wall. I wanna show you the included features which are here in their garage. Now this one, it doesn't come with this glass door, this is their office, right? But it's gonna be a regular door when you get the bedroom. That uh, upgrade downstairs to get the full bathroom with the bedroom and all, it's gonna cost you around $4,000. It's like $3,900. Now, as far as the included features, you get these two granites in the kitchen countertops. Over here, you have three choices in your bathrooms for the Piedrafina quartz. Piedrafina is like a, a quartz from Italy. It's a very thin rock and it's glued together by a nice, very nice resin, pretty much the way they do everything here. And then you got these two uh, options as far as colors for your cabinets, okay? We'll see the second model has all these options already in it, so you can see what it comes with and um, you know what you need to do uh, as far as upgrades. Now, walking back up here, I'm gonna go upstairs and see the second floor what we have. Now this one comes with an option for up to five bedrooms plus a loft. The first bedroom would be downstairs if you upgrade. It comes with the den otherwise and the half bathroom there. Um, as far as the kitchen, well, I'll go back down and show you guys other things. You can also upgrade these rails right here. It's about a thousand five hundred or so, probably a thousand. Now, as you walk up, you got a nice loft here. And over to the right, they upgraded this uh, door to a double door for your master. And then to the left over there, we have uh, three bedrooms, which uh, you do have a few options right here. You can add an extra uh, bathroom as well if you want to. This is the whole bathroom that they have that is pretty much in here. They have quite some upgrades, but the tile in here, what it comes with is like a 13 by 13 tile. They have three options to choose from. Uh, that would be all in the wet areas and uh bathrooms and laundry room okay so kitchen bathrooms and laundry room you got the fiberglass enclosure this trim right here is an upgrade okay that will give you all the trim on all the knobs everything that's all upgraded also these so that's probably about three to four thousand dollars of an upgrade because it upgrades all your apply all your faucets all the um, oh, stoppers right there so really nice these cabinets are the next level upgrade that you can choose. You have a few options. And then right here, we have three good sized bedrooms. Okay. And then the last one right here is even bigger. Now this model has, you can do a, an option where you have an ensuite out here, where that, instead of being a walk-in closet, could be a full bathroom. That's about a $6,000 upgrade. I would highly consider that doing that because it adds uh, an extra bathroom out here. For those of you who need maybe a second master or uh, an ensuite, this could be a really good option. And it's a really good size bedroom. We have about, what is that, 14, 15, yeah, 14 by 16 on this wall. And then uh, over here, this could be turned into a full bathroom with a shower. Uh, then you have right here your toilet and your sink. And then uh, as far as the window, this is also optional, okay? You will have to add that, it's a few hundred dollars. Uh, so if you do that, however, if you add the bathroom here, then where do you put it in your closet, right? They add a sliding door closet right there, okay? So if that works for you, great. Now that will give you one bathroom back here, one over here, one in your master, and then one downstairs making it a four bathroom home, okay? That's the max you can get. You don't get a four and a half, you don't get the, uh, powder room downstairs if you add that Probably going too much into that into this video. So I don't know. It's gonna be a long one. I guess uh, This bedroom 11 by 11 really good size. I mean, I can't complain eight foot ceilings Maybe that could be a something that could be upgraded, you know, possibly if you could go to nine But they don't offer that here. Unfortunately, so uh, you're gonna have to stick with eight foot ceilings probably nobody ever wants them anyway when they're looking at a home in this price range at least they don't need it you know nobody needs it on the second floor but let me know what you guys think down in the comments walk-in closet in here as well this one is about 11 by 12 as well so a very good sized bedroom now uh, you can upgrade also for the lights and uh, uh, the ceiling fan pre-wires the lights on the loft you got to consider every light you add is about hundred and fifty dollars what's included is lights in the kitchen and uh, pre-wire in the great room and in the, in the 
I think it's in, in the great room and the loft, I believe it's a pre-wire. Then you can add with the technology package is what they call it. Uh, it's a smart technology package. It will give you about, with $1,500, it will add all the pre-wires in all the bedrooms. It will give you a smart, two smart TV plugs. So you in your master bedroom, this is your laundry room, by the way. Everything you see is what it comes with. And you got a linen closet right here. And I want to tell you about this uh, pre-wire here. You see the pre-wire here? Now, the, all the recess lights, you got to add an extra 250 for the first one because the 250 gives you the light and the switch where you're going to control it for. And then all the other additional lights are going to connect to this one, so you have to add another 150 to it. Uh, so if you're making a list of uh, how much it's going to cost you, that's what you have to do. So uh, that will give you that switch over there with the lights and all that stuff and, and, the, and the ceiling fan pre-wire with the smart TV, uh, sorry, with the smart uh, electric, electric package, I think they call it. I like the way they did this one because they added this double door. This is about, a, I think, $500 to $1,000 you know, of, of an upgrade because it gives you that double door and it makes this uh, linen closet smaller because the regular linen closet gets up to here and then you have one door right here. Or you can open it up and have a smaller linen closet, which I really like. It improves the flow of the house a lot, which to me is very important. Well, this is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down there. I always read the comments. I try to answer to as many comments as possible. Uh, but, you know, there's there's a lot of comments down there and, uh, you know, time is very limited. Now, this option right here, you get a linen closet right here. If right here, you opt for this bathtub right here. Well, this walk-in shower, which is the extended walk-in shower. This is about a $6,000 upgrade, this one. Uh, what it does is it gives you it gets rid of the linen closet because right here you will get a linen closet And then right there you would get a tub and shower combo. It's what is what is included. Okay uh, You can upgrade to this one which will get rid of the linen closet and put that linen closet over there in the in the closet and uh, This would be your full shower with the seat. Uh, it's probably missing just the uh, a uh, little niche right there for your soaps, but I guess you can put them on here as well. And then uh, this, as you can see, it's an optional window. You can add that window. Uh, it's probably gonna cost you around $500 to add that window. And uh, I, I do like it. It lets in a lot of light, which is great. Dual undermounted sinks. Well, it comes with the overmounted sinks. This is the course that you get. One of the course that we saw downstairs. Looks really nice and clean. And then you got your water closet over here to the left. Okay. So well, that's pretty much it for this model. Okay. And then we're going to go see what else we have next door on the other model. And see a little bit of prices over there. What's included, what's not included. I forgot to go through the kitchen over here. So I'm going to go through it really quick and give you a breakdown of this kitchen. Um, somebody calls these the Jack Marathons. Um, I don't know who it is. Uh, let me know down in the comments, uh, whoever it is that, that says Jack uh, uh, Jack Marathons. I forgot about that. Um, I forgot his name. Gosh, it's on tip of my tongue. Anyway, let's move on, guys. We got these cabinets right here on upgrade. What it comes with is the fridge by itself here. That's not good. You want to add these. It's going to cost you around another $1,000. Now, for the cabinets included, it comes with a 30-inch cabinet. Okay, so it's about this tall. You want to upgrade to something like this, which is like 36 inches. Uh, really, uh, it's really nice look. Okay, that's gonna be around 1,500 for these uh, for the upgraded cabinets. Okay, then you get uh, the stainless steel appliances included, similar to these ones. The microwave is 250 if you want to put that microwave in there, stainless steel. And then this it will be about a thousand dollars upgrade to have the one bay undermounted stainless steel sink, faucet, a few hundred dollars. Um, as far as the island, you also have an option here. Now this granite is, it's probably about a thousand dollar upgrade to have this, this style of granite versus what they have included. The, the tiger builder grade, whatever it is, granite, which I really don't like. But you can extend this island from here all the way until here. It will line up with this wall right here, okay? So something to consider right there you can extend this island all the way over here i would definitely do that that's going to cost you around a thousand dollars plus if you want to do the waterfall finish on the side you can do that as well that's going to run you another 1500 on top of that all right that's it for this one
let's go to the next model. I've uh, bothered you guys a little bit too much with all the upgrades and everything. But let's see what you guys think about the next model. Next one is the 2124. That's uh, 2,124 square feet. Still a two-car garage, pretty much like this one. It's got the same footprint of this house right here, so in the back is gonna have about the same uh, backyard. But as you can see, this one has a different, uh, you know, curb appeal because this one has the extra bedroom that we saw. It's on top of the garage. It even sticks out a little bit more. So that's where all that extra square footage goes compared to this one, which is a little bit more, uh, you know, regular style home with the garage sticking out regular las vegas style home you know this is the 2124 as i mentioned uh we got two car garage we have a um, starting price on this one is three hundred and sixty two thousand dollars. that's as of today uh you know and you'll see the date down in the down in the description but this is going to give you a really good idea of what's included in this home okay and what it would look like if you were to put in just like ten or fifteen thousand dollars of upgrades because that's what this one has and um as we walk in this one has the option also for the bedroom downstairs you get your garage entrance right here to the right so let's see if we can see the garage here nope they locked it again now this one as you can see they upgraded this to the bedroom downstairs but this is exactly what you get so you get the, this tile it's a 13 by 13 as a matter of fact uh included tile and uh, right here you have overmounted sink, the Piedra Fino over there, and then one of the options, which is more of the cherry look right here in this one, the cherry brown look, and then the fiberglass enclosure. This one you can upgrade to this bedroom downstairs, which is, uh, I think it's a really good upgrade. I would do it regardless if I was just gonna use this as a uh, as an office, but let me know what you guys think because you can still use it as an office But then for resale value or if you change your mind you want to have the bedroom downstairs You can always change that in the future and the upgrade is only like four thousand dollars. So I Really like that now eight foot ceilings here on the first floor They upgraded the other upgrade here is the fact that they extended this tile from the wet areas Which is only in the kitchen right here is where the tile comes with over here would be just carpet But they extended it everywhere having the same floor everywhere on the first floor. Uh, very appealing to a lot of people, this upgrade. As you can see, we also have the eight foot ceilings here downstairs and uh, six foot eight doors. Everything is included right here by six in width. And then you have that living room over there as you walk in to the house. And uh, I've seen a few clients that did it the opposite where they put this dining table over there next to the living room. And then over here, they made the living room with the TV on this wall. But let me know what you guys think about that. Now, as far as the size of the backyards, right? I don't think I went outside. And, yeah, I did go outside. This is about a 20 foot backyard. That's the standard size that they have up here. They have some bigger lots. They're gonna run you, but this one is gonna run you around 15,000 for a size like this one uh, of, of a lot premium, 15,000. Uh, and then you can upgrade to a bigger lots for probably an extra 10,000. So about 25,000 total for the lot premium. Now, everything you see here is included other than the Piedrafina quartz right here. So you see this quartz? It's about a thousand dollar upgrade to add that one instead. This is the included faucet and uh, kitchen sink. You see it's over mounted stainless steel. And then over here, you've got your refrigerator as an upgrade. Uh, stainless steel appliances right here, this is what it comes with. So you would get the uh, Whirlpool push install with four burners stainless steel and your uh, hood right here fan okay so you can add the microwave there if you want it and then 30 inch cabinets right here with a little bit of space on top okay if you add the, the I think the 42 inch or the yeah the 42 inch option gives you the cabinets all the way to the ceiling so I know a lot of people like that pantry this one is a little bit smaller than the other one, about half the size of the other house next door. And then over here you have your storage underneath the stairs. It goes all the way back there as well. And uh, I mean, to extend this you know, this tile everywhere down here, it's probably gonna run you around three to $4,000, okay? Which is not bad at all. And as we go upstairs here, 
you got the pony wall you can add the, the rails as well if you wanted to and then over here you have a nice loft when you walk up they add also this desk right here sometimes people like that and then you have this full loft which could be turned into a bedroom as well this is only like 1500 they just add a wall right here a door and then that, that one becomes a loft sorry a walk-in closet versus a storage area okay and if we go over to the right when you walk up you're going to your master bedroom which is separated from the other two bedrooms on that side uh, right here we got some linen closet over there and then walking in here there's about 13 feet i would say on that wall yeah about 13 or 14 by this wall is about 18. so very good size bedroom now two down sizes uh two two things as far as negative feedback that i got from this house although it's a very good you know it's one of the best sellers is number one the closet in the master it's a little bit small for two people according to feedback okay this is not my opinion um and then also because that's the only closet and also the pantry downstairs is a little bit tiny uh, according to feedback from my clients but let me know what you guys think down in the comments because this could be his closet as well i mean if you get rid of those racks you just put in a, a few things over there and this could be his closet and then this pretty much is what you get when, you remember what i was explaining last time when we were in the other house you got the uh, fiberglass enclosure here and uh, uh, the linen closet over to the left this is what it comes with so you get a very large tub here combination with the shower fiberglass and then an optional window as i explained before now this one it also comes with uh but not the without the door for your toilet so if you want to make it a water room uh, a water closet then you have to add a door here you can do that for about 500 dollars okay and then going on to the other side we have the other two bedrooms with the laundry room before we get there and this is your laundry room right here you got your uh, rack which is what it comes with the little uh the pan as well is included and then you get these bedrooms which are pretty decent size as well it's about 11 by 12 well it's probably like 10 by 13 over here and then uh walk-in closet as well and i mentioned also about the pre-wires for you guys i mentioned all those numbers before so you have that but this is pretty much the included carpet as well which is nice you've got a sliding door closet on this one about the same size as the other one this is probably a 10 by 12 so a little bit smaller than the other one but still a very nice size and then in here you've got the one sink which is included okay and then you get uh right here you can add a second sink for about fourteen hundred dollars it gives you know this extended counter with an extra sink and all and an extra uh mirror and then over on this side you have your fiberglass enclosure included same tile is included and also the like button is included guys smash that like button really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already um, you know if we if we try to reach try to reach as many subscribers as possible my goal for this year was to reach 10,000 subscribers help me out doing that i think we're like 4,500 at the time at the moment of uh recording right now this video so we'd really appreciate if you guys could help with that and if you need any help purchasing real estate whether it's resale new homes check out the and uh, description down below i have links for uh websites where you can start your home search whether it's a new home you can go to the new home website which is only new construction homes and then you can go to the resale uh, website as well uh, that will give you uh, a little bit more uh the resale homes versus the new homes now this is one of my favorites as a matter of fact 1203 square feet i know it's not big it's not you know the biggest home available out there you don't have that much space in here but it does fit it does uh serve its purpose lots of people really don't need much space more room is more room to clean so if you're more of a minimalist person doesn't care much about you know that much room and uh you just want the minimum minimum necessary you know a nice place this could be the right option for you 
I hate that they're blasting music out here. They're gonna demonetize this video, but I'm gonna try to be quick and go away from this, uh, from this music. I love what they did in here in this upgraded version here, here with this luxury vinyl plank. All right. Open floor plan, 1200 square feet, single story, two bedrooms plus a den. This one is an upgraded version of it. So it has a third bedroom in here as well and a nice open floor plan. You can't really ask for more. One thing that I would ask probably would be uh, a dining room because we don't have a dining room. Although we do have this extended right here, uh, this uh, island. This is an upgraded uh, version of it because it doesn't come with this island. It comes with the kitchen counters all the way until there. And then this is an option. Now, I personally probably would not put it if I wanna put in a table. That way you can put a nice table right here and you still have enough room right here for your living room. Okay, but this is a very nice option. You can still put a small table, like a four-seater table here. Although it's going to be a little bit tight. It might be better to just keep it open. Uh, and then you have right here your lots. As you can see, even though it's a single story, these are the same size lots, right? But this lot is smaller because, at least, at least the backyard is smaller, because what happens is the house, since it's all on one level, it takes up more room than, for example, the two-story homes the next door. You see how, how farther back they are? So that will give you a pool size lot, but this one right here is too tight for a pool size lot. Well, you could probably fit in a skinny pool in here or a spool. All right, six foot doors right here. Sorry, six foot eight doors, six foot wide. Now, these are all upgraded right here. As you can see, you got an upgraded microwave, stainless steel upgraded. This is the first upgrade for the Whirlpool where you get the microwave on top and you get the five burners as well. You got a big pot, you know, it's nice to have the middle, um, the middle burner right there. It's a little bit bigger. And then uh, over on this side, we have our master behind us, behind this kitchen, which is a uh, decent size. We have about, what is this? About 11, 12. Yeah, no, this, this is more than 12. It's probably like 13 on this side by 14 on this side. Okay, 13 by 14. And uh, they did an upgrade here to the nine foot ceilings, which is nice. It almost feels like a 10, but it's a, it's, it's a nine. And then right here, they upgraded to this one, which is your full bathroom with the walk-in shower, the seat and all the good stuff. And then right here you have Last closet, not bad, not bad at all. I like it, you know, it's got everything you need. Maybe if I were to redo this place, I would probably add some kind of room for a dining table. And then this house would be perfect. Now over here you have the second bedroom. This is the one that is included also the second bedroom. And it comes, uh, look at this extra room right here, you know. I mean, it's nice to have the second bedroom right here. I like how they, uh, they model it because it really uses up all the space very well and then walk-in closet but if for example they could have used this room right here and put it into the into the kitchen to have an extra table right there i think that would have been a better option but let me know down in the comments what you guys think this is just my opinion guys so it is what it is and look there closed over there and you got right here your Pet treats, I guess. Here's your laundry room. And then two car garage. Now this one, what it comes with is, and that's another thing you can do by the way. Look at this. It comes with a den right here, okay? This den is open from here with a nice big opening. If you want, if you just need two bedrooms, you could just put, make this into your formal dining room. You know, it's not far from the kitchen, it's right here. And you can still have, you know, formal dining room and then you have two bedrooms if that's all you need. One and two bedroom back there, um, which I think is a really good option in my opinion. Or you can make this into an office as well. And then right here you have a fiberglass enclosure and all the good stuff right here. One sink and your third bedroom, as I mentioned before. So this is a really good size bedroom actually. Uh, this is a... 11 by 11, sliding door closet. 
so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video tour let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh you know i had some uh, uh positive feedback negative feedback i read them all i don't delete any comments or anything unless they're you know really bad things that they're saying so uh go down there and hit the you know hit the like button comment right there and let me know what you guys think about these songs if you need any help also let me know you can comment down there you can email me anything i'll be glad to help you out i'm here to earn your business as a realtor here in las vegas i help people from mostly from out of state but also a lot of locals uh, to get into a new home or a resale home or sell their house feel free to reach out to me all my information is down below see you in the next video